Back in the day before we started Modesta, I used to run several businesses. One of them became pretty successful. It was an agency introducing Australian educational institutions to offshore students. I had hired managers run the business for me. So after some time, it was pretty self-confined and stable enough to allow me exploring other opportunities. At that point, paint coatings were already well established in Japan and I was experimenting with them too, running a workshop offering coating application in Australia in order to explore the demand for such services and to see myself what the business is like. It was through the business that I met Akihiro. He was already involved with the detailing industry in Japan. He soon became a friend of mine. So we started to also talk about not only business but also life, family, ideas we shared and the future of business in Japan and abroad. Akihiro was a typical car and motorcycle guy in his young age studied machinery at a vocational school. He was a specialist of not only training, preparation and application of coatings, but also worked together with small business owners to launch their installer shops. He has done it for hundreds of businesses. One day, Akihiro suddenly revealed his wish to establish uh, his own brand. He wished to become his own boss because of there was no coding brand for what he thought of as high-end market. Also, paint coatings were already booming in Japan back then. There was no brand which would work closely with professionals who care for quality and that would share Akihiro's vision. It was just this moment that it was born, with Akihiro and me on the phone talking about how to make the life of detailers and the car owners better and eventually became partners. After a couple of long conversations, we decided him to run Modesta for domestic market in order to establish a stable domestic market in Japan and me, I would work on development of coatings and basically I invested everything I had back then. There were only things that I could fit in the few boxes left. Both me and Akihiro, we put all our money into what today is Modesta. So Modesta soon collected interest of core installers in the domestic market. However, we had a tough time to find the right path for introducing our products to offshore market until Michael joined the team. Soon after Michael became our partner, things were dramatically changed, so we became a well-known coding brand of the world. I grew up at a bedtime suburb of Tokyo. Millions of people just come back to sleep, then go back to work in the next day morning. It's that typical scenes you see so often from Japan. Busy street, people hurry to work. Back then, we used to live with my family together with my sister in a small apartment up there just a normal average family in one of many neighborhoods in Japan. I think it's part of the mentality we have in us. Japanese trust each other and the people do not betray trust in Japan. Through the compulsory education period of 12 years, we develop common sense as a Japanese, such as individuals exist for benefit of all. For example, we clean classroom with all students. Interesting thing is that I majored in law at university. However, more than that, understanding the fundamentals of researching inexperienced or unknown is the most valuable I gained at university. It comes from a saying that Akihiro's late father used to tell him. 
He was much of a mentor for his later life and shaped his business mind to a large extent, you know. He used to tell him, you should never forget to be modest, whatever you do, how far you go. I think that also reflects a lot of Japanese spirit. You should only focus on the improvement of the task you have been granted. Never be misled by fame or wealth you obtained. Never look back to confirm how much you have forwarded. Just concentrate on the present in order to have further improvement. We are not wishing to establish 100 times bigger business, but a business last 100 years through Modesta. All the chemical components are supplied in Japan. We have chemical suppliers all over Japan. Some are big and well-known raw chemical manufacturers, and some are very small. Japan has not only invented many aspects of surface coating, but the world's greatest quality in terms of manufacturing chemical products. Our products are maybe a bit over quality to customers who only care the price, but we still wish to supply the best products we can make. Components made in countries other than Japan often contain impurities. In order to demonstrate the performance as designed, it is necessary to use materials with high purity. If low quality materials are used, poor curing, poor addition, reduced durability, and reduced transparency are likely to occur although it is not instantly recognized by the customer. As a Japanese, I say that the quality should stand for the original purpose. Manufacturers should strive to pursue quality for customers but not get caught too much by the promotional value. It is important to make customers happy for the original purpose and that is what the quality should stand for. Quality improvement of rice cultivation has been repeated 3,000 years in Japan. Probably that was from the necessity of Japanese living in a small island. It is maybe incorporated in Japanese genes to continue improving the quality of whatever we do. We don't spend much energy for the decoration of our product, such as bottles and boxes, for example. We basically use brown colored bottles for coatings because of the brown shedding bottle can cut almost all ultraviolet rays. Decorated bottles are only baits to fish detailers. We spend the cost to the liquid itself if we have the money to spend. We don't need to spend more cost to the package as we are confident in our belief. As a member of Chemical Society of Japan, it is important to keep supplying the most advanced products to customers in the world. Surface coating technology is one of the advanced technologies Japanese government wishing to keep the advantage as we are not a country with wealthy natural resources. So we are not only selling our coatings, but also being private ambassador of Japan. We are wishing to create more Japanese fun through the satisfaction experience of our product and service. We can easily lose credibility in Japan if we are pursuing short-term interest. We should develop and manufacture the best possible products and having a long-lasting relationship through follow-up after sales. Loyalty is not about obedience. It is more about faith to Japanese. We try to do our best for customers even if we can create minimum difference to do so. Our job can't be completed with only supplying coatings. In order to get customer satisfaction, a series of systems such as preparation, application, and regular maintenance are necessary. As we are Japanese business, we measure customer satisfaction with a longer span 
It is a pity that some investors got into this industry as they expect short-term return. However, I can say that it is very inefficient business to establish in the short term. Running a detailing shop is more suitable for building a solid market by establishing reliable customers in the long years. We supply products to selected professionals to keep the Japanese quality of work. We can only share the product with people who can carry the Japanese proud together with. In order to implement that, we train detailers. We share all knowledge and information through various mediums. We also conduct catch-up and advanced trainings as necessary. Nowadays, detailers is expected to be a specialist with professional skills and knowledge, the same as the cook need to know about ingredients before start cooking. Detailers should understand properly about the paintwork, the knowledge on paintwork and the protective coating not only improves the quality of work, but the education invites a chain of education. The knowledge detailer passed to the customer makes the condition of his car better, and the satisfied customer refer other customers to the detailer. We manufacture coatings and installers apply them. The task of both of us is totally divided. However, we are always connected through the education and the data sharing system. So our installers in the world never left alone. All installers in the world are also connected each other to share their experience.